Hey guys, Leo, how goes it? This is a tarot reading for Leo in partnerships. It does not have to be love, but it could be. All right, so I'm seeing Aquarius and Sagittarius so far. This doesn't have to be, but I'm seeing them on the bottom of the deck. All right, so you know what I was getting? Okay, somebody is falling in love or they're in love with you. I feel like they're wanting to communicate this with you. Someone's like, let's do something. Let's start something. Let's be something. Let's be someone. <laughs> I don't know. Coming in here for Leo, please, this week. I also feel like... There's a, there's a past situation being looked at, okay? I feel like you're looking at the past here. It's popping up somehow. All right, there's a lot of shame within the situation. It's like looking at the truth of the matter or the documents. Like some of you guys can actually be going over some documents of the past, okay? Is what I was seeing. There's definitely something that you're not proud of associated with this situation or this person here. Look, at I told you, so your situation is the two of cups wow so you're ignoring someone leo someone that is trying to connect with you here it looks like there's definitely some sort of swapping that's happening between you and this person i'm hearing 13 i don't know why so this is something about you and this person swapping spit so you had a connection with someone here and now all of a sudden you're detaching here, but you guys are still connected somehow. There's an energetic link between you and whoever this is. There's someone over here trying to slowly drift away from you and you're over here in the world card like, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. I'm not sure why. We do have some ghosting energy here with the hermit on the bottom of the deck. Will you please tell me why the two of, Pen of, two of cups is the main energy of the situation? Why is this situation... Someone's backpedaling, backpedaling. They're going backwards. Okay, someone's going backwards in time. So someone could be a time traveler. Okay, so you have the queen of wands, the four of pentacles, justice, the six. All right. Wow. So there's a lot of passion here between you and this person. I don't know who this person is just yet. We're going to pull, but it looks like there's something that cannot be balanced between you and this person. So it's almost like, all right, well, I'm not going to give to it then. It's a waste of time where I don't have anything for this then. I'm not going to give to this because it's not going to be reciprocated or somehow we're not going to be able to attain what we're looking for. There's something like a mutual decision that this situation is not working right now, or you have to leave it alone for the time being for whatever reason that is. Okay, so let's go see what the world card is about for you. I'm seeing like documents again. Documents, oaths, promises, bonds, okay, bonds between you and people. There's some sort of agreement here. I'm not sure what it is yet. All right. So you got the King of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Six. Everybody's getting this darn Six of Wands. So, but it's Leo energy. So hello. Interesting. All right. So, wow. There's a lot of feelings here, Leo. Um between you and this person, but it's not enough for whatever reason. It's over here with the Ace of Swords, you're like, okay, I realize that it's best for me that I leave this alone right now. The Eight of Cups is a sudden and swift ending, especially paired with the Ace of Swords, but this is something that you feel is the right thing to do or should be done, has to be done, this is it. I gotta leave, I gotta walk away, I gotta leave this alone right now, okay? So I feel like you're um, intentionally trying to suppress your feelings about this situation, or it's almost like you have put it on ice. All right. I'm not sure why. So the eight of cups is an energy that is abandoned, but a lot of times since those cups are still standing, you are able to return to it. So maybe there's some sort of idea that this could be returned to. I keep picking up on this very vaguely. I'm not sure why yet either. So let's see, you got three of cups on the bottom of the deck. You built a really strong bond with somebody or you really like someone here, okay? It looks like you guys are kindred spirits or you guys um, bond over the same kinds of topics. You guys have great conversation. This is probably the basis of your relationship in the first place. It's almost like you guys hit it off right away or your communication is like, we like the same things or you have so much in common with this person It kind of built a bond here. Tell me about this six. It's like they're a familiar 
Wow, a familiar, familiar person. I just saw a cat's tail. Tell me about the six of swords over here, a black cat's tail. Tell me about the six of swords over here. I love black cats, they're so sweet. Oh, tell me about the six of swords. They're actually not bad luck. Okay, let's see, the eight of wands, the 10 of cups. Okay, what in the world, Leo? Yeah. They're like, they're like, okay, um, I gotta go. Is this like, I feel like you guys are separating from someone knowing full well that you're gonna reconnect, okay? It's like you, so this person over here is like, let me tell you that I have to go somewhere. Let me tell you what I have to say. And there's some sort of truth that caused a bit of friction between you and this person. And there's definitely a heartbreak here on this person's side. So maybe you said something that, they, that they're that hurt over and I feel like it has to do with leaving this alone. So something was communicated about leaving the situation alone, but it's also like, I have to do this or something is being forced. It's like, I have to be separate from you. Um, this is the right thing to do. Both of you guys agree on this. So even though you guys don't wanna connect, it's just being left alone or hang out to dry, hanging out to dry. Okay, okay, um, someone's, what does that have to do with? hanging out to dry. All right, anyway, this three of swords energy is definitely telling me this person is displeased, okay, beyond measure. They're like, okay, this really sucks. I'm burnt out about this. This is lame. Okay, this is lame AF, and I wonder if we can reconnect and be happy. That's kind of what's going on here. I don't know. All right, how do you see this person, the ace of swords? So yeah, you do feel like this had to be done, like you had to set this person free. There you are, the sun card, exactly. Something had to be set free here because you had like a, a blatant amount of clarity, like, oh my gosh, this is what has to be done. That's it, and you know, no feelings involved. Let's just be real smart about this. Let's be smart about this here, okay? It is what it is kind of energy. Let me see, how do you see this person? How do you see this person, Leo? There's some weird oath that you guys took. It's like you agreed to split or you both are like, yes, this is, yes, it's mutual. Yes, shake hands. Or like you spit in your hand and you shake it. You know what I mean? Okay, you got star card, the four of wands, the seven of cups. And I gotta turn off this candle. It's very, um, highly perfumed. Okay, so you see this person with the seven of cups. Uh, okay. I, I'm, I'm picking up on your strong connection with this person again. You really like this person. You guys have like a, okay, look, seven of swords. Hold on. There you are being smart. Okay, what are you doing? There's plans that you guys agreed upon here. And it, it does have to do with the splitting of the situation. But I also feel like when it comes to like your relationship with this person, there's something that is amiss, doesn't make sense, or um, somehow you guys don't have labels. You don't you don't call it by its name, like your connection with this person. And it could be because there are other variables that are at play here. And like, you know that you need to use your mind as opposed to your feelings, but there are jarbled feelings here. They're all jarbled, all right? So people people feel all types of ways about this connection. There's definitely an idea of a relationship or a union with this person because it does feel like, wow, we have a very strong connection here or, you know, something up to this effect. Maybe you're dealing with, um, is this an Aquarius or you have that in your chart? I know these energies oppose. Okay. Let's see here. So you definitely are taking note of this standstill here and kind of like not really knowing how to proceed or you see this person not knowing what's coming next. 
and like they're guarded or they're kind of like standing guard here in the midst of chaos or not having a clear path with you yet feels like yet okay this person sees leo how Is that why the documents came up? Someone sorting out their prior documents? Okay, you got the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups. Okay, so wow. Okay. That is so interesting. Again, I'm brought back to your guys' a strong link. You guys have some sort of understanding between you and this person. You guys have a strong foundation or a friendship at the very least. This is someone that you care about and they care about you, okay? So when they're seeing you, they know that you have some sadness or regrets, but it's somehow we need distance or we need space or we need to separate. It's almost like this is going on. So they know about this. It's like, yeah, Leo doesn't really like this. Neither do I. Or there's just some sadness and, and remorse about disconnecting from you here. But, you know, there's something else that is a bigger picture or a bigger reason right now that we're both aware of. Um, They're looking at you like someone special, okay? Like you're a special person in this person's life. You guys have met for a reason. You guys have a deeper meaning. Like there's a reason you know them and you're very familiar, okay? All right. All right, all right, all right. So I don't feel like they like this. I feel like, it does feel like this person's more more bummed out than you. Okay, Leo, I do sense that. I feel like you are bummed out, but I feel like you, you feel this is best. And this person's like, okay, if they say so, and then they kind of just don't like it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that. It's like, well, I didn't really want that, but okay. So, um, what do you want with this person, Leo? What does Leo want with this person? The moon, uh-huh. Does that sound like Elvis? All right, so <laughs> we got the higher font, the high priestess. Mm -hmm. Well, why do you guys have so much secrecy here? So you guys got a, a, a sneaky link or something like that, all right? Um, when we're here looking at this relationship between you and this person there's a lot of unspoken things underlying meanings things that are not said or shared to the public okay this could be a relationship that is mostly uh, agreed upon and kept behind closed doors or and as well as and and or okay is experiencing a lot of uncertainty right now which i could see both there's a lot of moon influence here, so lots of illusions, but also a lot of feelings, a lot of intuition, um, and a lack of clarity, whether it's between you and this person, which is most likely happening, yes, for the time being, as well as, like the future, as well as unknowns to the public or to your people, uh, to other people around you. This is kind of like a secret type of behind closed doors or like you're still my favorite let's pinky promise type thing like let's make a blood pact you know <laughs> it's like that movie my girl is that what that movie was the one died from the bee stings or something i don't know i haven't seen it since i was a child i don't really watch movies anymore okay well Something cannot be right now, okay? It could be because of oaths. There's like an oath. I feel like this feels almost like secret society type stuff. I don't know why. 
It could just be that you guys are living like a, a secret situation out. Okay, this person wants with Leo. What does this person want with Leo? Yeah, I don't have attention span for movies. You have the lover's card. The Ten of Cups. Okay, the Six of Swords. Again like this. Again like this. They're showing up like this again. The Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords. So they're hoping they can return to you. They're hoping that there's a decision that's going to allow for this, for them to return to you. So you guys can like couple up or link up or maybe even eventually do something about marriage or living together. This is like, this is my one type of energy, okay? You guys do some secret sauce. You have some secret sauce, secret, li okay. Yeah, someone's dealing with a whole other situation here or they're needing to deal with their situation. I don't know what, maybe it's another person. All right, there's something about marriage here, something about engagement here, whether it's already happened or it's planned between you and this person. Because there's an agreement that you have with this person to revisit this at a future time. But right now there's something else going on. And it's best that you don't talk to them or it's best that you don't associate with them for the time being. That's what this is saying. And sometimes maybe it's like you don't want your, let's say for example, I'm gonna throw this out there. Keep it as a side note because I don't know how many people are living this. I'm just gonna you know, say this. Let's say for example, someone is married and they're planning to go through with their divorce but it's taken a long time, right? Sometimes that happens, so I hear. And in order to make um, a judgment go in their favor, they have to make sure that everything in their life is by the rules so that they don't get the short end of a stick in a judgment, if that makes sense. So this could be something that is somehow an example of what could be going on here. There's something on a larger scale that is affecting this relationship. Okay, if that makes sense, guys, it doesn't have to be that at all. All right, so Leo's next moves. Yeah, it's like you guys have a secret oath. I swear. Here's your hermit energy. Your queen of pentacles, seven of pentacles, empress. Okay, well. Lots of earth energy coming out here in your next moves. Some of you guys have some things you need to wrap up with like one of your parents, like make sure that they're taken care of or their assets, like someone's assets need to be taken care of here. Like if it's a, if it's a spouse, okay? Um, or if it's a child of yours, there's something about assets. All right. Yeah, I see you in this hermit energy moving forward here. Leo, I do feel like you have a lot of stability on your mind and you're looking for what's best for you and your situation right now. It could be that there is some sort of, um, yeah, moon card again. Like something is on the line and you're very consumed by it or very absorbed by it, like you're being real smart and practical. And that's kind of what is necessary right now is what I am getting. So this person's next moves. Okay, the seven of pentacles as well. You see what I'm saying? There it is. There it is. Okay, so um, wow. What in the frick? Okay, the Tower, the Five of Wands, the Sun card, the Devil, and the High Priestess. Okay. I do feel like you're wrapping up something over here or you're dealing with something of great measure, Leo. When that happens, 
Uh, this person's welcoming you with open arms. It looks like, hey, Leo, you know, we can connect again. Or or some of you guys are meeting up with this person secretly or privately or like off the clock or whatever, off the record. Like you talk to this person off the record, off the clock. I don't know why I'm getting that. There's something like that going on. So this is almost like, okay, is it time yet? And you also are looking at this like, okay, is it time yet? Okay, so I do feel like there's a shift waiting to happen. You guys both are aware of this, but there's not a whole lot of communication I'm getting right now between you and this person. Like I said, someone's being real smart. It's almost like you guys are both looking at your watch like, okay, now's the time or now it's go time. Let's go. Or this is the date. All right. You're like waiting for a specific date, waiting for a specific occurrence. Okay, for something to change, something to happen so that you guys can reconnect. But in the meantime, you guys are lying low, being real quiet, being real smart about this. But there's a very strong desire coming off of this person right now. Okay, they're hoping that you wrap this up quickly. I feel like you're not trying to draw this out. It does feel like it's out of your hands, but hey. Let's get you three cards. Interesting reading, Leo. What in the world? <laughs> I love it. Okay. Very different. Okay, let's see. Readings don't usually talk like that, I don't think. All right, so Leo, please. It's been a pleasure to read your cards. We got the magician. The Queen of Pentacles. Yep, there's that shift that's coming in. It's just a matter of waiting. I feel like you don't really know when to act or, yeah, look at that. There's that vow. You've made a promise to someone or there's a promise on the table that needs to be honored here. Okay, it's between you and this person. I do feel like you want the best outcome um, with the Ten of Cups, the Lovers, the Nine of Cups here. And you're, you're drawn toward someone here, okay? It's just a matter of, oh, there goes that. There goes that Libra energy, or that Justice energy, I mean. There's a huge shift that you're waiting on. This is a major shift, okay? Um, the Moon card here, plus the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I do feel like you're being real practical. You're waiting for the perfect timing when the timing is right, or when that thing happens, when that shift changes, when I'm done here, when this cycle ends, I can start a new cycle. Or Yeah, you're waiting for the perfect time to act on this new new i said new connection with this person or a new path that you're choosing here because you you're you have an oath on the table with that two of cups remember we started your reading like this and here it is so the time is coming eventually you're just looking at your clock looking at the calendar whatever looking for the shift the signs so that you can act on something here all right that's what that feels like to me all right, let's get a card for Leo, please. Wow, you get this one too, I love that card. Bottom of the deck, the goddess of light. We are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. Um, I feel like you're meeting like a major soulmate or something like that, guys. And this is someone, yeah. I don't know. There's, there's there's someone here that's changing your path, okay? Or you're doing this to them. It feels like both. It's never just one. All right, so you've got the goddess of all that flows. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. Some of you guys, this could have to do with uh, someone um, having kids or pregnancies, birth, all that jazz. We keep seeing this empress, okay? But for the most part, this does tell me that you're waiting for that opportunity to have your perfect new beginning because it already exists inside of you. Like you already see the possibility, you know it's there. All right, this is just a matter of putting it into action, putting it into play. Beautiful. All right, Leo, feel free to check your other placements on this playlist here on the screen for more or different information, okay? The main ones are probably best. Your sun, moon, rising. Your Venus could be important. Your north node, it all depends on your chart. If you know how to read your chart, what you're looking for, but a lot of us don't. However, those are those are main ones, okay? Anyway, I love you so much. Feel free to check that playlist here. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, Peep and Tom, Peep and Tony down the street. Check their placements too, so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you, bye.